to the Irish, please don't forget to remember. Remember when taking a child was called kidnapping. Now it is said he had a child he didn't know under his arm. Remember when stranger sexual assaults and attempted abductions of children were extremely rare. Remember when murders and rapes of people by strangers were almost unheard of. Remember when something like that happened, it was so shocking, we would talk about it for weeks. Remember when the media cared and such crimes would be all over the news for a long time. Remember when the Gardaí were more interested in protecting the public than protecting migrant predators. Remember when we played all day long in the summer sun and when you went home early your mammy would send you out again. Did Ireland change? No, Ireland never changed. But many of the people who walk amongst us on this island are new and unknowable and some of them will only become knowable by the crimes they will commit. Although perhaps they won't, because now they're starting to hide their names. Most migrants, of course, will abide by the law. But what does this matter when there's enough that won't? Remember, Ireland was always perfect. But the people who lived on her have not been. In the past, horrible things were done to children, perpetrated by people they knew and trusted. Some of those crimes are being spoken about now, and rightly so. But many of those speaking about those crimes will remain silent on all the sexual assaults, attempted abductions and knife attacks that have been perpetrated against children by predators who never should have been allowed in the door. Those people who remain silent now, and the Gardaí and judges who help predators, are exactly the type of people who would have allowed sexual crimes to happen to children in the past. Remember, those who were silent then were worse than the perpetrators. They knew, they said nothing, they could have prevented so much pain. Remember, children are far less likely to be targeted if adults around them have the gumption to protect them at all costs, which isn't actually hard to do when all you need to do is open your mouth. Don't be part of the reason why some child becomes someone only to be remembered. Remember, all you need to do is speak up and put children before your desire to avoid criticism from those whose approval you do not need. Remember, when you say nothing, you allow harm to occur. Remember, when you act in defence of children, mothers and fathers can hold their children a little less tightly and their children can have a little more of their rightful freedom. Remember, when you speak up, you defend not only Irish children, but all children. And lastly, remember, there is nothing more important in life than this.